And I want to get into now, you brought it up a little bit earlier, but the Cobra, probably one of the biggest moments of your career, right, was the getting that Cobra over and then it with the sleeve and everything. Can you talk about that when the Cobra first came in to your mind that you were going to use? Yeah, when I was living in Japan, there was a guy and he just showed me this thing. He just would transform his arm into this little puppet. <laughs> and um, that was it, you know, he just did it a couple of times. And, and then like five years later, I was at a live event and I look at Cena and I go, hey, w- watch my comeback, I'm gonna try something. And after, I think it was wrestling Chavo or, or Carlito, maybe Chavo. And I was like, jab, jab, jab. <laughs> And I hit him and he turned into a schoolboy. And the crowd immediately laughed. And he, when I came back, he just said, uh, keep that. And then, so I started doing it on just live events. And then eventually the word got back to Vince and then I went to Raw one day and Ricky Steamboat was my producer and I was wrestling, I think Zack Ryder. And he's like, you're wrestling Zack, you're over with the Cobra. And I'm like, the Cobra? <laughs> Vince, Vince was very, he goes, yeah, Vince wants to see the Cobra. I think Vince knows about the Cobra. And he goes, yeah, he's been reading the reports and everything. So anyway, uh, I did the Cobra for like, I don't know, a year without the sleeve? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe longer. And then the Cobra sleeve came in later on. Was that, was that also Vince or just a writer? Is there kind of a combination of everybody just saying we got to make this more emphatic? Um, you know what? I didn't have the sleeve even when I, when I was with Kozlov. So it was after the tag team, um, you know, re- tag team run. Right. That I, I, I got the sleeve. Oh, that's interesting. That was, I, that was just for a merchandise thing. Yeah. Yeah. But it really, it yeah. And it did well. I'm yeah, assuming. Um, and uh, did Mick Foley say anything about it specifically? Cause that's one of my favorite moments watching you two lock up in the middle for the Royal rumble. Uh, did yeah, he like that, that? He, he, uh, when we were talking about that moment in the Royal Rumble, he was so giddy, like a, <laughs> like a child. He was so, he was just so excited. It was actually really cool to see. And he calls that one of his most favorite moments in his whole career. Really? The which line. is incredible. Yeah, it, it had the potential. Cody Rhodes broke it up too early, but we were supposed to go like back and forth, like across the whole ring and stuff. But anyway, people got the gist of it. Yeah. That was a really, really cool moment. Ooh, blessed daddy. Booker, Booker, man, I feel good. I tell my people and my brothers and sisters, don't you dare. Don't you dare miss. Online. Rewind. Recap. Relive. Oh, yeah.